I'm Paisley Moore with your Black Collective exclusive. We sat down for the first and only one-on-one -on -one interview with the now former inmate accused of beating up suspected Emmanuel AME church shooter. Dwayne Stafford bonded out of the jail the night after it was announced that he assaulted Dylan Roof. His recent release from jail comes after spending 571 days on three charges without a trial. His bond was set at $101,090 on January 2014. Many are saying thousands were raised to get Stafford out of jail and that is simply not the case. New details have since emerged. But to set the record straight, there were only $379 that were placed into his commissary at the time that he was released on Friday evening. Um, there were a number of reports that there was in excess of $100,000 that was raised towards his bond. Those reports are inaccurate when in actuality the only amount of money that was raised was the $379 that we were able to get that went towards his bond. Okay, so he didn't get that money directly. You're saying that money went towards his bond? Yes, it did. Okay, so what about those who find it out after the fact that he was bonded out but said they had put some money towards his canteen? Do you know where that money may have gone? Well, we um, I don't. Um, we've been in contact with Charleston County Detention Center to find out exactly the process by which we are to obtain that information and to see where those funds may have gone and get that at that time. Okay, and some of people are wondering, some people say, oh, he's cool and now he has so much financial support. Obviously, that's not the case. What's his living situation like right now? Unfortunately, he's homeless. Um, we've been able to set him up with some temporary housing and we're working on trying to find something that's more long term. But when he got out and when he was released, he had nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. So for those who want to help him now, how do you think they can do that? There is a, um, a third party site out there, Crowd Rise, that they can go ahead and donate towards in the name of Dwayne Stafford. Okay. Well, you all heard it here first. There is a CrowdRise fund for him. And if you see anything about a GoFundMe account, that is not true, inaccurate, fake, do not donate. Again, Dwayne Stafford currently is homeless. He was in jail for over 500 days without a trial. So if you do want to help him, please visit that CrowdRise funding. And we'll have more and new details on this developing case. I had the very original newspaper of that attack, that like what he did, and I had it for the long. I had it until like probably like four months ago. Even though I'm not related to them, those those nine people, that's family. Like because we live in the same state, we like you know we we are one. Like regardless, like if that's church people, if that's people that's worshiping God, then I'm in the same path. That's my brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? So I'm. I'm like, okay, most majority of those people were elders. My emotion, to think about it is the same as how I feel about my father dying. Like, it's just like, damn, that's, damn. I was the first person to speak to the man when he got in there. So I was like, I want to approach him and, and let him see like, okay, what was you not getting for you to understand the fact that what you did is not understandable. That's not, I don't understand. I, I still don't understand. So I, I basically approach him in, in a way like, what's, what's, what's going on with you, man? Like, like you, you couldn't find nothing else better to do. Like, I, it, wasn't, I, it wasn't hard. I, my, I'm saying this now in the way I'm saying it now until we got hear me and see me. But it was more peaceful. After we started like conversating on a no normal basis where like all the CEOs saw that it was okay for me to go to his door because I wasn't really gonna start trouble because I, what I'm gonna do, he's through the door. I'm not gonna talk to him because y'all know I can speak very properly in a, in a proper manner to where like, I wanna understand this guy. Like, so after we got on that basis, it was like, he, um, I don't wanna quote, I don't wanna quote wrong but they said something about uh i thought i killed the girl the little girl but then um they was like she she didn't get killed and i was like no you didn't get her she played dead on you from what i heard like but i, I like that was that's when i gave him the smart alec you know saying like yeah like like you so bad but you let that child like get off on you like that's basically how i felt like you're dumb ass. but i didn't say that but i i gave him the smart alec like yeah, she got off. Like, she, you no, know, you didn't kill her. She's safe. Like, you know, like, I approached that in a, in a way. So, so usually, usually when I um, get him to talk, 
like about like his charges and stuff like he'd be like uh he 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 tried to make me think that he feel real bad when it was it just happened so I kind of felt as if when I heard Charlemagne said it was a he's trying to start a, a race war I kind of felt as if okay this could think I'm stupid he used to blame it on other people but he said he wrong but like it's, it wasn't like his idea. He don't want to tell me who he's associated with, but he's involved with people. I don't know who they are or what they represent because I'm really not a person of affiliates myself. I don't do gangs. I don't do tattoos. I just trying to like live my mind. So I asked him about the pastor, like, cause like um. I was interested in the past, like I, I was intrigued after I found out like what he represent and how he doing it. Like I was like, okay, not only he a pastor, he's a senator of the state. Oh man, that's that's the type of guy I like. Cause I asked him about like what I was hearing, like okay, you know this guy's the uh, senator, right? Like, yeah, like you know he was a senator and stuff. Like, do you know that that church is the oldest church? In the and then like um, he was like, yeah, I heard about the church before and stuff, like cause. Um, um, they, they, they used to, uh, I used to call their, Ruth is a character, man. <laughs> I, and I, I mean, like, when I say character, uh, ain't nothing wrong with him. He kind of got with the drift with everybody else of who I am. Like, okay. if I'm going to be mad at you, I'm going to be mad at you. I'm going to tell you I'm mad at you. The chaplain came in the unit one day and, um, being that, uh, it's kind of hard for my mother to like get by, so um, I asked the chaplain if uh, she can contact my mother and see if I can get uh, if they can send my father's obituary. So and and she was like, "Your father died," and I was like, "Yes, ma'am." Two months ago, and um, he was like, "I mean, she was like, uh, okay, I'm um, it in the kiosk," and then um, so later on that day um. Ruth came off a wreck and I was like, is it true you said something about, uh, you want to start a, 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 ra a, a race war or something like that? I don't remember. I, I used what I heard and asked him. And he was like, man, f*** that shit. Like, because he talks to me. And um, he was like, f*** your dad too. And and that that shit get me. I was just depressed. Like, uh, even, um, even all the mental health people... They saw me crying because they didn't kind of understand how I was feeling about... I was crying, but I didn't want to tell them that the fact that Ruth talked to me the way he did. And at the same time, he not going to see that. I'm just show him. I wanted to swear so bad that the fact that I accidentally swore and said that I'm going to get to him on my daddy's grave. A grave I haven't even saw yet. That Monday morning, that's when everything was like, on a okay... Charlemagne the God, DJ Envy, Angela Yee. The first thing they spoke on, which I like when they first start speaking on things like where I, cause I don't have the phone and the TV not always on, and they speak on something like everybody talking on social media. I'm like, oh, where he did that? He got caught with that? No. Like, so when they started off, it was like uh, Charlemagne the God being that is so close to his home, he spoke on it first. He was like, um, I don't like the fact that something like he was basically seeing something about the comments of race war and he was like uh that coward which he is which he which he was for that um uh how he how how they trying to get him off on 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 multiple life sentences and then Angela Yee spoke and basically got into detail on on like what what was it about and DJ Envy stated that, okay, well, Charlie Man God said his obnoxious comments again. Then DJ Envy said, oh, oh they're not going to get to him. They're not going to get to him. He, put, he on PC. And then Charlie Man God said, well, he ain't Charleston. They don't they get him. They don't get him. And, I, and that's when, like, I call out to uh, my home, my homie before they went on break. They call out one of my, they, they said they was going to have an interview with one of my top dogs. I love them dudes, bro. Like, Ray Shemur, like, I understand where they coming from and how they coming. Like, they were once homeless. I was homeless, you know. Like, while the female officer, like, was doing a round, I asked her if she was going to take her break. And she was like, yeah. So I said, 
oh, all right, you can give me some crackers? And she was like, yeah, you know I got you. And But at the same time, it was like, I didn't expect her to get the crackers because they always be promised me they're going to get crackers. I was just like, like, you know, like in the movies, like when the girl in the shower and she gets startled, like she's like, <gasps> like, um, <laughs> like he didn't speak at like whole sentences like, oh man, why are you doing this? I'm sorry. No, it was, it was more of like a, a whining, like, man, uh, like, like, it, it was, I don't even know. I don't even know if those were words, like, man, his cheeks scar up. And like when I say scar, I mean like a like damn like a boxing fight, like like them thick, and then his eye black right here because he been in medical for about a good 30, 40 minutes. Usually that don't happen when the fight. I can't say he deserved to die because I'm not a judge, but I got the power to bust it. I'm, I, life is what a lot of people say what we make of it. My decisions that we make, or I made in my life, is kind of like based on. The predicaments I've been in, I've been through it, man. I've been, I've basically been through it. I've been in and out of foster homes. There's so much things that I, I want to do and I would like to do to it, like that people that don't have or people that don't even think that it's gonna be possible. I want to be the light for them.